Another material that I'd like to talk about is uh, polydimethylsiloxane, or PDMS. So this material is important to talk about because up until now, we've considered only polymers that have carbon atoms on the backbone. And these are so-called organic polymers. PDMS is an example of an inorganic polymer because it contains atoms other than carbon on the backbone, in this case, silicon and oxygen. So you have this SIO linkage uh, and then two methyl groups uh, that come off on the side of the silicon. This is the dimethyl part of the, of the structure. And so as you can imagine, this change from carbon to silicon and oxygen uh, changes uh, greatly the properties of the polymer material. Uh, one of the main applications of these materials is in a cross-link form to make uh, what's called silicone rubber. Uh, so when these chains are cross-linked, they form uh, soft uh, materials that have very high temperature stability, uh, and they're also very chemically inert uh, and insulating. So often uh, where you might have seen these properties is in cookware, uh, for example, you know, gloves or things that can uh, hold uh, hot things. Uh, they're made of these silicone uh, materials. They're stable uh, to high temperatures uh, or these um, uh, things that you can set uh, hot cookware on, uh, on your countertop. Uh, but it's also used a lot uh, in electronics for, for uh, encapsulation uh, type uh, uses. So in other words, you can uh, pour this uh, solution and polymerize it uh, around the outside of uh, electrical connection, for example, and that will keep it insulated from the environment uh, and so that it's not exposed to the elements. Uh, silicone rubbers are also used in toys. Uh, high temperature adhesives, uh, silicones are also uh, important uh, in those kinds of applications. Uh, but all of these properties are a result of the change in the nature of the backbone from carbon to silicon and oxygen.